Now, this queen has been serving it since season seven. Season seven often thought to be, oh, that season's not that great, but it has made some of your favorite motherfucking stars, including this queen, who's about to come out with an album that we're all dying to hear. I'm talking about the comedy queen herself, Miss Trixie Mattel. <laughs> It took five seasons, but honey, they have safety pin this couch, yes, honey. Yes, honey. <laughs> Remember, like, a season one where the drag queen would sit down and the flap would go, like, over their face? Honey, so, it was like... just a futon in the middle of first season. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> yes, darling. Look at you. Look at her. Look at her. Is it time I already? Mean, uh, Is it time uh, for that show already? Uh, Girl, I put on makeup so you don't need those. <laughs> You're right. I can If you see can't it. see this face with, and you need, uh, they're, you're fully blind. I mean, you get the, all the details, though. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Miss Trixie. Day daytime, <laughs> passable. Totally. Pe people see, people see me and they're like, Laverne? I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, they... Is that she? She's Shelly from work? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, sorry. I brought you a gift. You did? Because I always think your desk is like very curated. Oh. So I brought like a little... Um, a little me. Oh my goodness! Fun, right? Hey, Trixie, what's up? Yeah, hey, that's like my actual. Shoe, that's my actual shoe sign. Oh, like, wonderful! Yeah. This is gonna live right here uh, with next Katya to that stolen. Okay, did she take? Cone. Did she take a pine cone from your studio and yes. re-gift it to you? Yeah, she did. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. Now, when I saw you today, you were giving me a title for this look that you thought all the comment section would say. It's down there. Joanne Realness boots the house down for your nerves work. <laughs> oh, because did and you know Lady Gaga invented a guitar? Did did you, I heard oh, she did. Oh, completely. And a pink hat. Well, back when she, because remember in telephone, she invented uh, cans and leather jackets. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this country music diva look yeah. is sitting, honey, in those shoes. Dolly, pardon me, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honey, you when we first had you here, it was like still during your season. So long ago. It yeah. was like when you had, the week you came back on the show. Yes. Things have just changed so much. I mean, your fame has just grown yeah. in such a huge way. The fans for you and Katya are off the hook. Well, yeah. Right? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> There's so much love for you guys. Thank you, five people. Um, <laughs> they're all here. Katya's all... mom. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, uh, we didn't want to mention that Katya's mom is here. <laughs> well, you know what I always appreciate about RuPaul? RuPaul always talks about like windows in the universe and like energies and ambition. And honestly, the real drag race is after drag race. Yeah. Anybody's fierce for the four months you're on cable television. You're right. But bitch, then what happens? Do uh -huh. you know what I mean? Yeah. And so like losing however many times I lost, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, Drag Race is a talent show. Mm -hmm. You can win and who cares? And you can go home first and t like Tempest Joy and everyone loves you. Like, yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's the, with the toughest critics, that talent show. Yeah, and like, even with all, like, even with like, all stars and stuff, it's like, I don't think of, you can't think of the drag industry and being a comedian or performer as, how many times can I get on one television show? That's so short-sighted and crazy. Yeah. Well, luckily, you had a lot to give afterwards. Yeah. I mean, you've been touring doing your stand-up. Well, I do this thing where I um, do drag but have discernible gifts. Right. Which uh. audiences, is kind of new for them. Yeah, so yeah. So I and like tap dancing. I like puppets. I love to play my guitar. It never occurred to me to play my guitar and do drag because um, I played guitar for like so long, but then I started doing drag and quit because when you're on the road as a drag queen, you don't really have time to put a fucking guitar on your back. Right. Um, so it's been so fun. It's great. I love to do and my stand-up show, doing comedy. Yeah. I love doing Drag Race, and I love, but I um, afterward it's been great because I feel like I've, most of the fans I've gotten are after Drag Race. Yeah, and the great thing is that there's such a extremely intense love that now you kind of have the freedom to give them. They're going to be open to whatever you're giving them. Yeah, as long as you like give them something they like it, and you do it a few times, they'll like go on you with your journey. Yeah. I mean, th even my face, they used to not go on me with this journey. <laughs> right, and now everybody's doing <laughs> Now everyone face. is on this journey. Honey, there's so see much white nine. under yeah. eyeliner going on, honey. Yeah, see you on season nine, yeah. Yeah, um, right, season nine. All You think we're going to be getting some Trixie Mattel look? I'm probably, well, I feel like Drag Race is always a um, bizarro, like, uh, Coraline other mother copycat of the season before. <laughs> right. So we're probably going to see some, like, no blue, like, we're going to see some full Naomi Smalls is. Uh-huh. Because Naomi Smalls is, is, is a kind of a raven. Right. So Drag Race has become this snake that eats its own tail. <laughs> sure does. In a way, you know. Yes. And even the fans, the fans, it becomes self-referential because um, if you don't know drag outside of Drag Race, of course, kimchi makes you think of my makeup because that's like all you know. But right. 
you know, Bozo did it first, so. <laughs> <laughs> I need Bianca. I need Bianca. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Um, so now you've been traveling for, how long have you been doing Ages 3 and Up? It feels like it's been like two years. Yeah, I wrote the show, well, I debuted the show like a year ago, um, and I did a, um, a soft opening of it in Germany, because I thought like, if it's not funny, I can be like, the language barrier. Uh. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, You're like a David Asselhoff dude yeah, here. I can yeah. do it too. <laughs> yeah, and so I did it at the Hamburger Mary's in Germany. Um, and then uh, I Which did, is also where you saw your own elimination, isn't it? There's yeah. a video <laughs> crying. My fans are so sweet <laughs> for taping that up close and putting it on the internet. Right. It's so sweet. Um, I've seen it a lot. And uh, so I did it there, and then I debuted it again, like the soft, another version of it in Vancouver to try it again. And then I did it this summer in Provincetown 55 times. Girl, you were in Provincetown. <laughs> Five days a week, Honey. two and a half months. And you can't leave because you are signed into it. Yeah. No, but it was great. But it, honestly, uh, Promise Town, if you guys don't know, it's a, a little uh, seaside village in uh, Cape Cod. Right. Where all the gay people, rich white gays, go to like drink rum punch and fall down. Mm -hmm. So, yep. but they also see a lot of drag shows. And that's a, a great lot. audience to perform for because those are audiences that have seen Bunny, Varla, Everybody. Mrs. Richfield. And if, unless it's funny, they aren't going to laugh. So yeah. that audience really like. They're not going to laugh unless it's funny. Did you, uh, you're probably famous enough to avoid the daytime handing out of oh, the bitch, flyers? You think so? Oh, bitch. No. <laughs> bitch, down the block, it's Varla Jean Merman and Bianca Del Real barking. Right. Oh, shit. You know, when I see Bianca Del Real barking, I'm like, oh, so no one's coming to my show. Because barking, if you don't know, is when you stand in the street and hand out your flyers. And that's what they do in Provincetown to get the audience. You got to be out they're working it. And you know what's fascinating too? People would come up to me. Oh, hi, Lady Red. We didn't even say hi to Lady Red. Oh my God, we haven't said I've been so <laughs> distracted. That let's talk to Lady Red for a I goddamn second. I heard the cookie second. crunching. I was like, Lady Red, your sister in makeup is here. <laughs> hey, girl. How are you doing over there, darling? I've been so overwhelmed with all of the beauty and glamour coming in. I, I forgot was to distracted check in by all that edge. stuff. I love it. All that stuff, like, like everything. Tell her a Pez dispenser. Who cares? <laughs> um, in P-Town, though, you do barking. You have to hand out your fly or whatever. And people would do this because people think I'm too famous to be barking my own show. Uh -huh. They come up to me and they go, you're not her. Oh. And I go, OK, I'm not her. Great, you're right. not you. And I'm in the street handing out Trixie flyers because I'm not her. Great, I love that. <laughs> well, that would be genius, though, because your makeup is such oh my God. that you could have a couple Trixie impersonators. That, well, that's true. Sometimes there was a girl at DragCon two years ago. It was a guy, and he was in Trixie Drag, and it was so convincing. I was like, can you sit on my booth while I go to the bathroom? And he did, and he took pictures with people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, what's his name? Uh, Andy, uh, uh, you know, bowl cut artist. I don't know. The guy with the bowl cut who did the Marilyn. Yes. Oh, Andy Warhol. Yes, I thought you were used to do that I too. thought you were like, Andy Warhol was that drag queen? Yeah. <laughs> I just Dressed like, as Trixie? Yeah. <laughs> but he used to send people out in a bowl cut wing and glasses to do his events, and I people would be like, that's him. Honey, later on, when you get tired of the tour, Are just Are you available? Like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> just flap, 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 flap. I need to work. Come on, Trixie. I'm going to get a beard, and I'm going to be you. Great, that's great. fine. <laughs> Um, now, have you? The show is called Ages Three and Up, but and I can imagine, honey, that there have been fools that have brought children to hear your gonorrhea routine. I have made a mistake. <laughs> I have made some mistakes. The show is called Ages Three and Up, and sure enough, like first week of doing it, there's ki I'm up there talking about rooming my stepdad, and there's a kid right there. I'm like, <laughs> but you know what? Depending on what region in the United States he's from, he's got to learn somehow, sometime. So, <laughs> like, whatever. Um, but it's, it's called Ages 3 and Up, but it's not for children. It's about my life, age 3 to now. Right. <laughs> but it's suggested because I look like a child's toy. Yes, it's I... It's all very conceptual. That's I understand, darling. Yeah. But there's kids there, and that's unfortunate. I, I have a lot of underage fans, though, and I don't get how a uh, gay man with a troubled past pushing 30, how that relates to underage white girls, but it happens. I don't know. But they, they're loving you, darling. They're loving you strong well, and hard. I'll go with it. I'll go with it. I mean, they're they're ready to go with you on your new journey into country music, honey. Yes, all the comments. Joanne Realness, where's your album? Um, well, again, I just don't think, uh, I think people aren't used to Drag Race queens doing things besides dressing up. Mm -hmm. So it's like a little surprise. You know what uh, I mean? Like Miss Lady Red also has her album in the works, Stunt Queen. Uh, honey, when you hear that album, you are going to gag. Queen. Stunt Queen! Stunt Queen! Lady Red's giving you bitch tracks. Lady Red is giving you soul, drama, all the rest. Oh, yes, oh, live in the glamour, bitch. With that big red lettuce fan. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>
Um, so, but you are doing a, so a country album, and you're going to release that as Brian? Yeah, I, record, well, I recorded it about three weeks ago. I don't have released it just yet. Just three so weeks ago? Yeah, I just finished it. I recorded it in New York because I used all Broadway musicians. Wow. So I had like a drummer from Hamilton. Honey. I had somebody who's in School of Rock musical playing on it, and uh, we did it all. And um, we you're mastered living it your baby now. dream. Yeah. That was what you really like. MySpace days. You wanted oh my to be, be a singer. I will slit your throat. And right like, <laughs> Come you on, don't Rockstar, ever, don't ever, don't ever make something on the internet that you can't remember the password to to delete. <laughs> Cause, uh, because cause they'll talk about it on Hey Queen. Geez, or and on your own show, honey. Or my own show, yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, I always wanted to do music and then I stopped because of drag because drag was lucrative and if you don't know, there's a million white guys with guitars. Right. So, But there's only one Trixie Mattel. There's only one Trixie Mattel, So honey. one was making money and one wasn't. But now I get to... Uh, Hopefully do both. So. And are you gonna release it like Fifi O'Hara boy style? No, it's gonna be like almost like a Porter Wagner Dolly Parton duet album. So it'll oh. look like Brian and Trixie playing together. Really? Yeah, but it's not comedy music. It's real music. Yeah, because I've been, I, you know, I was stalking you on the interwebs, and like you, you sort of introduced the first song about how you, you know, was you sitting in a bar. Oh yeah. Sad and. Yeah, you like uh, do what you do. You put you put you uh you, when you get your heart broken, you put up a show. And you wear enough makeup so that the meet and greet, no one knows you're sobbing. <laughs> and then you write an album. So yeah, like I'm a little hard, but I played for so long. And then I, at P Town, I had an apartment that had no electricity, no TV, no fridge, no air conditioning. So that's when you were. So all I had it. was a guitar and wow. a terribly horrible broken heart. So I just wrote the music all day and Honey. did the show all night. So was, and then you got to live your dream with all those incredible musicians. And were you arranging great. it, or did you have someone come in to help arrange? No, I, the I parts? arranged it. I had a gentleman named Brandon come in, and he worked on the Ring of Fire musical, the Johnny Cash musical. Uh -huh. And he's from Nashville, and he's a theater homo, so it's like Honey. perfect. Um, wow, that's gonna be exciting. Of course, I'll make sure you guys all have free copy. Yeah, Honey, but I don't know how people good. are gonna like it because I don't think gay people really like country. And if they do think country, they think like big and rich. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see how they like it. I'm and if they pretty don't, sure your fans are gonna eat up anything you give them. Hopefully. Well, it's <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, I love playing the guitar and I love singing. I love songwriting. My dream is to quit drag and live in the woods somewhere, and then the, some like. Kira Underwood will call me and be like, can you write me an album? Like, sure. $50,000, here's your songs. I'm going to sleep for the next six months. That's my Sounds dream. good. I mean, after like five shows a week that you've been doing, honey, you probably do need six months to take a nap. Yeah, I'm going to eliminate the meet and greet factor and add the rich music mogul factor. That'd be great. Do it a Justin Bieber style. Yeah. Like it. <laughs> totally. no, more, no more meet and greets with Trixie. He doesn't do meet and greets? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. It takes too much out of his soul. I'm... Not even mad at that. <laughs> I mean, at you all. Mean, we can do but whatever you want. I don't think it's good for your psychological health to spend all your time embracing strangers. Do mm. you know what I mean? Or for also your physical health. Yeah, but you get a lot of colds and a lot of germs. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's like, can I have a hug? I'm like, I don't uh -uh. know you. It's very weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because you're in drag, it's like, we hug. I'm like, don't know you still. <laughs> and when you're a theater person, you're used to performing and leaving. Introducing that thing where you step off the stage and hug people is like... Right. You know. Usually the bow is the end. Yeah. And you're like, thank you and good night. This but you're not allowed to say touching strangers makes you uncomfortable because then you're a bitch. Right, of course. Can I have a hug? I'd rather not. Are you bitch. mad at me? Like, God. no, I don't know you. Are you mad at me? <laughs> Why does meet and greet mean fondle? By that logic, <laughs> I should be able to buy a hooker today. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, you don't need a hooker. Your heart's been broken, but you have a new man in your life. I do. I'm doing well. I started out doing this thing called dating on Tinder. Uh-huh. That's been, this has been great. Um, I, we started having intercourse recently. Oh, congratulations. Yes, thank you, yes. Thank you for your course. Thank you. Because I know you don't like to give it up. Easy. I don't either. You're we not wait, a hookup person. We waited like a solid three months. I was on tour. A three months? Oh, oh. Oh, bitch. Lady Red, have you ever heard bitch. of that? Oh, one more time. Oh, Lady Red's like, does he have legs? <laughs> yeah. No, we waited a good three months, and then I was at the doctor, and they were like, are you using condoms? And I was like, oh, we haven't had sex the real way yet, but we're hoping to in January. And he was like, <laughs> So, so, then we, so then we started having intercourse. Mm -hmm. And then the week after, I went to the proctologist in West Hollywood to get my annual anal pap smear to check for colon cancer. Gotta Thank do what you. you gotta do. Yes. And they, so he was like knuckle deep in me, like looking for his keys, right? And he's like, so what'd you do this weekend? And I was like, actually, a lot of what you're doing now. <laughs> but he was a Weno doctor, so I'm sure he's like seen it all. He was like, girl, I could go further than that. Yeah, he's probably pulled people out of people. Right. Yeah. So whatever. He's like, there are three circuit queens having a party in your asshole. Yeah. But with, <laughs> as you'll learn on my album, I'm very country and old fashioned, so I can't just fuck strangers. I like it. Well, I mean, I enjoyed your Instagram story. You guys are in the Santa Monica Pier, oh. holding hands in the. Ferris wheel. After all your heartbreak, honey, I'm glad it's all turned out so well, I'm gonna nicely. I'm going to do what every star does. I'm going to uh, publicize my breakups and try to capitalize. Do it. Yeah. Get it. Get it done, <laughs> darling. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, 
know, Trixie, you look gorgeous. I'm so Thank glad you. you're here. We're going to have Katya out here where the two superstars meet when we come back. Yeah! yeah.